What's good, YouTube? You know, it's like no. But um, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Captain Price with Captain Price TV. I've been gone so long. That's cause I'm on my second channel. What are you talking about? But <clears throat> if you're new to the channel, go ahead, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Um, I didn't want to start an intro intro to this, but I'm gonna go ahead and start one to this. Reason being is because I just want to make a disclosure. I ain't feel like typing out. No names will be putting in this. Um, these are a lot of story. It's not a lot. It's like four or five stories. Um, this all happened while I was in high school, not while I was out of high school. I got stories then too. If y'all want to hear that, just put it in the comments. But I did hear a lot of freaky stories, like sexual stories in high school. So you already know before we start the video, live life to the funnest, not the fullest. And yeah. Let's get into this video. So, I don't know which one to start off with, so I'm gonna start off with something that happened was wild, wild. Back, this is when I, I think I first lost my virginity. Um, it was me and three of, my, three of my homeboys and this girl. So, Crazy enough, <laughs> crazy enough. So, my home, one of my homeboys that wasn't there, he dag on was with one of my homeboys that was there with the girl that was there, right? So, crazy enough, they post me getting in with the same girl. So, the homeboy that wasn't there, when they when they told us the story, the girl and my man's told us the story. He they was like, okay, we was in, we was doing it and stuff my man was on the phone in the closet he felt he said he felt odd for a second or some shit like that and then he was like man put your dick in her mouth <laughs> this man said to to both of them he was like i like how your show game is i'd rather watch you when they both said it and she backed them up we was everybody was like get the fuck out of here like to hear something like that <laughs> To hear something like that will throw you all the way off. <clears throat> okay. That's one wild story, right? So another wild story. Same girl, right? One of my one of somebody I actually grew up with. One was met was tweaking over her for a while and she gave him the opportunity. This happened a couple days after. Ain't that not a coinky thing? A couple days after the other incident. So, she walked, so we at the same spot, all smoking and stuff. Why I lie to you not? She, he asked, why you ain't, um, why you ain't let me hit? You know what she told him? Your dick was little. Hey, yo, when I mean, <laughs> when I mean to be said that in front of your men, it's like, bruh, I know she did not just say that in front of all of She, he was like, bro, that ain't true, that ain't true, that ain't true. Let me like, like, did, did you just, he, and he was a bragger. Like, he, yeah, man, I'm like that. Blah, blah, blah. He used to lie, say he hit this, bro, hit that, bro. But when the opportunity came, with one of them, you daggone, don't have the man shrimp. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't have the man shrimp. So, to be eager about that and stuff like that. Crazy enough, me and, him, me and him end up fighting too. Something like that. Um, Who won? It was a draw, to be honest. Everybody said that was a draw. Um, Even though me and him got into incidents before. But well, we kind of seen ourselves at Cousins at that age and stuff. So, I'm trying to think. I am want to wait on one of the stories. Because one of the stories is kind of crazy. In my in my view. Um, So, another... Another story in high school. I'm not trying to give y'all none that didn't happen. That happened afterwards. Um, um, screw it. I just tell you the one I was gonna wait for the last. So, somebody I know, right? Female, right? Crazy enough. I heard about it multiple times. We don't go to the same school. Let, let's let's make that blunt right quick. Um, everybody I know, we all did a step a handful. We went to not a handful. Like I didn't even really go to school with nobody I knew I heard the story and stuff 
about this girl giving head on the bleaches, under the bleaches and stuff. Crazy enough, I ain't believe it. You know, you, you, everybody make false rumors and stuff like that. Crazy enough, fast forward a couple months later after I heard it. One of my, somebody from, I don't even go to the school that I know told me that you need to see this video. Bro, we was, it's always at the same fucking playground. Though. All, all the, it's like we all group up at the same playground. So it's like, at the time when we was in high school, we all be at this elementary school after dark and stuff, smoking and stuff. So, fine and good, he showed me the video. I said, I, I was like, damn. It kind of crushed me, but I was like, damn, damn. I, I would never thought that of that person. Okay, I know that, that ain't even that juicy. That was juicy on my behalf, you know, on my behalf. But, another story, right? So it was this girl, I don't know her. Uh, it was this girl, everybody, people who went to Spengon, Spengon's closed down if you from the city. Um, and if you young and stuff, Spengon is a city school. It was this girl, I don't know who she is, I lie to you not, but they said, <laughs> this is funny right here, this is real funny right here. A lot of people said this, it was like, it's this girl that would cut up jeans with no panties and like being played with in the middle of class. So, when, when I heard that, it's like, it's crazy. When one person tell you, but when multiple people tell you this, it's like, Damn, for real? Like, when I heard that, heard that story, it was like that one, one every day come in like that, and just don't want to do nothing at all, none of that, just want to get yeah in, in class. So it's like, for real? So it, it's like I was like, damn, I gotta go to that school. I gotta go to that school. It was psh, damn, a lot of it's just so many stories that I could tell you about that people told me. You, you know, when you were in high school, you had a bunch of stories. It's just that you have to have witnesses or footage to back it up. So it's like me in general, every all the stories I'm telling you, I have the witnesses, I have the stories, all that to back it up. That's why I would talk about it. Because if there's no stories, I don't believe it. If I ain't had no witnesses, no nothing, I'm not going to believe it. But some things I would, though, depending on how facial expressions, eyes going both ways and all the good stuff. You know how I go. Um, if you don't know, like, if you look densely at the right, if I'm correct, for a long period of time, like, you just keep on looking at the right, because like, this is my right hand side. If you keep on looking at the right, I mean, somebody lying, then they keep on wandering up and down. It's some big weird shit, but, yeah, I know it's hard to explain on camera. You'll have to be, actually, another person right here, and I have to tell you, show you. But, um, oh, yeah, yeah, this bitch ass nigga. He, so it was this dude I used to hang out with and stuff, right? He, now he had a bunch of stories, but they, they all was true. Like, that's the crazy part. They was all true. But crazy enough, he was bitch ass nigga. He basically was telling me how he skipped school one day and his mother walked in on him and the whole house was smelling like fish. <laughs> and he said he didn't notice that it smelled like fish. I, how do you, first of all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, if you messing with any woman, if you don't understand, like, if you really don't understand this, like, if you can't smell it when you're doing it, but everybody else can, you need to go get your nose checked out, playboy. Like, because you should be able to smell that, you know? That was, because he skipped school and stuff, that was it while I was in high school. It was crazy. He just, when he told me that, it was like, it was crazy, but... Only way I could tell you that is because back that up, somebody else I knew messed with the same joint, but he smelled it and kicked her out the crib, you know? So it's like, that's a bunch of, like, it, like it, I can't, I'm not gonna hold up y'all time and tell y'all all these stories, but it's like, dude, you'd be surprised, like, like what happens in high school, why you in high school that people tell you that's true and what, what isn't true. But when you get out of high school, like college and stuff like that, college got a lot of crazy stories to hurt. Um, I'm gonna tell you something, a little something, something that happened. This like, this is my story. This ain't sexual though. This just fun. Um, so basically, I was in um, me and my homeboys, 
We was at the cool in it, you know, walking down U Street. And I do wild stuff in public, all that stuff, like make joke stuff, say you drop this, all this blah blah blah. So these these dudes out there wilding in the middle of the street, and I'm like, I was like, man, where's the party at, dude? I I lied to you not. This was hilarious. He said, the party's over here. I said, get the fuck out. You serious? And he said, I was like, yeah, I'm serious. The party's over there. I said, you're fucking lying. He's like, go in there, man. Go in there. It was a party. It was low key, uh, low key. One of my men, <laughs> he he just like was noit, talking about some. If something might happen. It's a bunch of college kids. We from this area. These are college kids. Finding good. It was actually chill. We he kept on being noit, so we told him just hop on the bus, go home. Finding good. We after he left, that's when all the wild stuff happened. Dude brought out two pounds. Let me remind you, this is like. This ain't even high school. This is like 2014, bruh. Like, two pounds, bruh. He was like, yeah, man, I'm about to roll these joints up. Oh, yeah, if you like Coke, man, it's a whole table of Coke downstairs. I said, nah, I'm good. My other man was like, we we good. Man, he get the rolling, rolling. He was like, yeah, man, we fried, Mike. He told me, yeah, this is homegrown, man. The plant's down there, too. I'm like, these college kids, they renting out a house. Why they ain't? in college so it was like that was a crazy crazy story um this this month close you out guys out this month it's gonna be a kind of like a story time type stuff the next story time we want to be something like this but it's about me so at the end of the day live life to the funnest not the fullest and hit that subscribe button and oh yeah i got a second channel that I post on almost every day, reactions and vlogs, but mostly reactions. Go ahead, hit that link in the description. And you already know your boy, it's Captain Price, and we already know what it is. If you want to live life to the funnest, subscribe right now. It ain't nothing but a G thing, you dig.